that's my main concern now, you know, from the Exxon oil spill here in Mayflower because my husband is the one that looked up the videos and uh, what videos? Um, it was just some YouTube videos on the Kalamazoo tar sand uh, spill there because um, yeah, my video. <laughs> well, how did he? How did he see those? It they scared just, him. It scared right. him to death because about you know it took us maybe a week to realize that tar sand oil is different than just regular crude oil, I guess, and he said, this is dangerous stuff, and he was like, watch this, and it was a documentary, I guess maybe one of your videos, of people that said, well, when this happened, I experienced, you know, some of the similar things that I'm talking about, and you can hear, you know, you can hear it in my, it's just, it's just not going away, and, um, and he said, and now watch this, and it was like, two, you know, so many months later, this person died from whatever. So it's scary. It's very scary. And I don't feel like the truth is getting out there. You know, I'm not real um, educated on any of the chemicals. Um, I only know what I read that Exxon's sending out in the mail, um, that everything's great and the cleanup is going great. But I do worry about, you know, what um, me, my child, and everybody else around here has, has been exposed to. Can you tell me more about your son, about him being coughing and, and stuff? Um, I noticed it shortly after the oil spill, but again, I didn't the I didn't want to jump to conclusions because I thought, you know, God, I hate to be one of those rushing to the claim number and and but this is my child, my only child, and um, he's very athletic. He plays all sports. And um, I've just noticed him really short of breath lately. And that cough is just like that really hard and productive cough. And for a, a child to text and say, I think I need to go to the doctor, that's disturbing. And for him to be falling asleep, you know, he's, he's one that requires very little sleep, was not a napper. You know, he's falling asleep in class. He's falling asleep on the way home from wherever we're going. He's going to bed at 8 o'clock. And um, he texted me just a while ago, can you please come check me out? I think I need to go to the doctor, so I think we're going to go this afternoon. And today is May 15th, 2013? Yes. Okay. And so what are we, um, a little over a month post Exxon oil spill in Mayflower. And that's about how long, you know, well, I'd say maybe three weeks. But I hear him at night and it literally sounds like a bark, the cough. Well, tar sand oil comes from Canada. And, mo and they won't refine it in Canada because it's too toxic. So they send it to the United States to refine more pollutant in our air. Then most of it is owned by China. China owns 80% of that oil in Canada. They have to get it to China. And the only way to get it to China is through pipelines down to Texas or over to the East Coast. And that's why they want the XL pipeline to be put in. It has nothing to do with the United States oil. It is 100% for export to China. I'm dizzy all the time, I have migraines. It took two years before I had science because I've been in these chemicals trying to prove this. I'm, I'm sorry that you're going through this, but this is all I can do is try to document it so that way the world can see what's going on. I don't have any money, I don't have any power, I don't have nothing but just my voice and my videos, that's it. And so thank you for, for meeting with me today. Thank you. I appreciate what you're doing, you know, I do. And I'm at the point, you know, I'm, I'm scared to death to call a claim number because I've just heard people around town say how rude they are or how rude ex, this Exxon claim number is when you call them and they drill you and then they say, oh, that couldn't be, so. It's to save money. Do you know why they don't want to say it made it in a Lake Conway? Because everybody on the lake would have a legitimate lawsuit and that's hundreds of millions of dollars. So why do I feel afraid to call? You know, why, why have they, it's like intimidation. Okay, this is um, five days post Exxon oil spill in Mayflower. Um, the day I went to the doctor and was told I had uvulitis, which is something the doctor I went to had never seen before, um, but had heard of, and that's my uvula laying on my tongue with, um, ulcers or sores on it and uh, that was probably four or five days post um, a steroid shot and antibi antibiotic okay is it 
what I feel is just fear. You know, I fear for my own, because, you know, my own health, if something happened and I was, you know, three, three months, six months from now and I wasn't here, then my child wouldn't have a mom. Or I think if I lost a child for something so preventable and so ignorant, you can't put a price tag on a life. Just like the videos that we watch from Michigan, you can't put a price tag on those people's lives. No. And the sad thing is, ma'am, I have an hour and 40 minute video of that. You just saw this small little four minute video that I just threw a few people in there. I don't want to be a part of a video like that. I don't want any of my neighbors or friends around here to be part of a video like that. But you want the truth out. Yes. I just want to make sure that you're okay with me. Yes. Okay, showing this yes. video because, but I understand your point that you don't want people to get sick, so there is a video. So the reason why I came here is um, I I wanted to come a month and a half ago. I didn't have funds. I, f I started getting 20 bucks here and 40 bucks wow. here. It costed more than that to come down, but the whole point is I'm here. And I wanted to get documentation so I can add it to the Michigan stuff. And I will separate it, and I want to go to the next spill and the next spill. Because I believe, and a lot of people around the country believe, I'm what I am doing is important to show what the news won't show. And that's what I try to do. And so... And I'm glad. I'm glad we need you. We need more people like you. Or we need funding for people like you. You know?